Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! Ah, we got the new Echo Visor, everything is right with the world. We're gonna open up a few more things here in Sanctuary Fortress today to kind of prepare us for what's coming next. But, uh, I think in the meantime, I think we should have a little talk about Metroid Prime Remastered. Let's have a chit-chat about the Metroid Prime Remaster, why don't we? I picked up a physical copy, I finally got a chance to play around with it, and, uh... Uh-oh. What, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now, huh? How am I supposed to come back to this after playing Metroid Prime Remaster? This, it's, this, is, this is fantastic. I was so scared when they announced Metroid Prime, and I think uh, it's already been confirmed. If you watch that trailer again, they make a mistake and mention multiple Metroid Primes, which means two and three are in the pipeline. So, yeah, eventually you will be able to play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, completely redone from the ground up, or at least visual-wise. And, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that, having... being, uh... doing the original game now. Well, I think th that's why I chose to do the first release of these games. To compare and contrast. To, to compare and contrast, because no matter how many re-releases or ex extra, extra editions they, they, they send out, you can't... you can't, you know, do it with the original. Yeah, and I, I'm very glad that Metroid Prime is in the limelight again, because it's extremely good. And from what I've seen, and I'm assuming from what God, you've it played, looks, it looks so good. Yeah, it's se Jeez. sexy new graphics and also uh, the new control schemes, which was very surprising. It takes a lot of getting used to missile expansion, by the way. Nice. See, I thought they were gonna do like. The silly Joy-Con thing is like, you can aim on the screen, whoa! There is motion control, but it kind of is more in tune to Trilogy and Metroid Prime on the Wii. I haven't tried those yet, but they they have a an original GameCube uh, adaptation as yes. well. Dual oh, sticks yeah. is what I've been mostly be using, and it's taking some getting used to. <laughs> taking some getting used to. I'm, I'm like, I can't think with the second stick all the time. There's a part where there were two turrets. And I hit the L button, I immediately aim right at it, and I can shoot at it. But then I'm trying to aim at this one over here, and it just won't lock on. Oh, I have to actually face it now. You have ah, to- Ah, yeah. okay. Oh. So, uh, there's two ways to shoot. You can press the A button and the ZR button. Oh, okay. I've been using the A button, because that's how it used to be. But going between that and the dual stick setup, mm. you know, it really doesn't kinda- Yeah, you gotta I, like- I understand, yeah. But if you just have the ZR and the dual stick, oh. that feels so much better. Oh god, and... But however, it still feels good playing this, though. Like, I don't know, it, it just, it just... It just works. I'm glad you weren't crippled after coming from here, going to twin stick, and then coming back. Because... That's, that's a huge change in control scheme. You're going from... You no, know, you have to lock on to what every other shooter is doing, and then coming back to this. At least there's some growing pains when going between the two. Just a little bit, and I think that's why they released the first one first. Because I think, you know, my, my thought process is that if 4 is coming, it's going to be a little bit different. Because we're going from, like, three entire generations here, basically. Oh my god, they are. Oh god. So... Here, here's Metroid Prime 1, and I guess 2 and 3 later, mm -hmm. if we have rumor, rumor, and all that. So, uh, new bit today, we're hopping into this yellow room over here. Power bomb into hell! But I can still play these other two games because they're still, like, really good games, and I think sometimes better than Metroid Prime 1, to be honest. Yeah. However, it has been nice to go through uh, Metroid Prime again and just use my old guides. That I used that's, for the that's let's pretty play. Good. It's been it's been handy. I'm gonna see if I can actually get Meta Ridley this time. <laughs> so for this one, we got to do a bunch of portal hopping. Uh oh. Okay, puzzle time or hopping time. So hop in this dark portal to go into the dark world. And then find a light portal, jump back into the light one, blow up a window, and come through there. There's a couple things I throw in the middle there. Ooh. Uh. Is that uh, a monster? Hi. Comes smashing right through, of course. This is a dark ing smasher. Made to smash ings, but unfortunately, ing smash. It's a mechanoid target enhanced by ing possession. Mm. It's the same thing as the regular ing smasher, except 
it has more of a weakness to light ammo, I suppose. That's good. But it's still weak to dark ammo when it's weak to dark ammo. At, I, I don't know. It, it's an upgraded version of a thing you've already fought. Light it's, world, it's dark world. It's tougher, it's harder, it takes more hits, it's more susceptible to, to light beam ammo. Yeah. That, whoa. Did it, like, fling you forward? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, oh geez. Oh. You know, if we kept making a shtick for the different Metroid games we've played, yeah, you know, we got the Metroid Metroid, and that's like, okay, that's a timeless classic. But I was thinking here for Echoes, eventually, maybe for this episode only, here we're going through the portal, light world, dark world. <laughs> I would have thought the, the joke for this one is just the nuh -uh damage. <laughs> No, that was last time, mm. where they just take your power beams and just poing, bye bye. Oh. I roll through here now to another portal. <laughs> oh, please let it all just be for a missile tank. I can't wait for it to just well, be even, for a missile tank. Well, even if it is, we still got to get that missile tank. I know, I know, but it's still funny just it's to important. jump back and forth, loading screens every time. Ooh, nice spider track. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. Well. Time for another one. Light world, dark world. Ooh, I'm just thinking. Re-release of Metroid Prime 2. I wonder how fast these would be. I've heard rumors that the remastered ones really aren't going to be as remastered, just kind of more uh, soup, souped up port jobs. Well, that's okay. And if that's the case, I think it's going to be more in tune to Trilogy, as in have Spring Ball and have the other quality of life things that they gave in the difficulty uh, uh, changes. But hey, that's a Powerbomb exp expansion. Okay, that's better. That's better. You know... And you always need the Powerbomb to get the Powerbomb, so it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm okay if they just do a port job, because you're getting the best of all three, technically, with Trilogy. So, I'm okay with that. The fact that we even got remastered one is just that's actually great huge. as it is. It's 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 so good. If you take a look at the credits of Prime Remastered, Retro is still working on Metroid Prime Four, which means Nintendo had to call in like five different companies to work on that thing. It's it's amazing. Maybe they're also working on Metroid Prime Four as well. Yeah, it, w why not? I mean, you well, have all these friends that can help you develop a game. It's, Invite him in. Well, you got people tweaking the physics and, yeah, the, exactly. and the, the lighting graphics. Retro's working on actually coding the game and all that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend that I know how exactly the game... Oh, Lord, game, no. dev, ...game dev system, especially for this torturous development hell-riddled uh, <laughs> production will go. Let alone what Bandai Namco was doing that made Nintendo go, yeah, no. Oh, what was the that? The same company that said A-OK -okay to Metroid Other M and Federation Force was saying no thank you to Metroid Prime 4 when, when Bandai Namco was doing it. Here's our next boss, the Caretaker Class Drone. This is a boss? This is a boss. Oh. And it quickly turned from one of the more annoying fights in the game to probably my favorite boss fight so far. Against a drone. Against the Caretaker Class Drone. But we can't really, you know, face it right now. We gotta get in there. Okay. But first, we gotta, do, we gotta take care of this. Ooh, puzzle time. It's puzzle time. Whoop. Gotta go through all these spider <laughs> spider uh, tracks. Ah, you I got like hammers it. and rollers and pushers to knock you off and do some damage. Stoppers in between, you gotta you gotta time a bomb jump sometimes with Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Uh what? That guy up there. Oh, I didn't even see that. There we go. Be careful, because that thing's going to knock you off, and then... Yep. Nope! Point. Up here, and then drop down. Do they just knock you away if you get hit by all this stuff? Yeah. This this one can be tricky sometimes. you got to time it just right. Go, 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 go. Hup. Don't go too far. And, Have it. Oh, oh, and all right, got it. Easy every time. For a missile expansion. <laughs> all these acrobatics just for simple missile expansions. You still need to get them. I know, they're required, I know. required. Adds to the game's length. And we got some lore over here, too. Torvus Falls. No. Uh -huh. Rip. What we got here? The Ing turned their focus on the Torvus Bog next, sending a vast force to lay siege to the temple there. Thousands upon thousands of Ing were destroyed by our warriors, yet they kept coming until there were no Luminoth alive 
to offer resistance in Torvus. On that day, the energy of Torvus was taken to Dark Aether, and our hopes for survival grew dim. Well, that's heavy. Yeah. It kind of sucks that in the Metroid universe, there are a lot of species that are just continuously ever multiplying. They don't actually stop. The so, X, the Ing. Well, that's how we got Samus here to take him down a peg. Well, how do you take down, like, an infinitely spawning monstrosity? Oh, like, Nuke him? Send someone th who can destroy them all, and she's doing good so far. I guess. Yeah, it's, okay, yeah, sometimes it does end in Nuke him, but you know, hey! That's only a last-minute thing, like, uh, uh, like, the last resort that she usually takes. She walks into the computer lab, and it's just like, oh, hey, a self-destruct button. Awesome! All right, now we're about ready to fight uh, the boss. In the Dark World? We gotta get in the Dark World first. Uh, dark World boss! Bring it! Ah, oh, this is fun. We gotta deal with the most nuh -uh energy of all the... <laughs> the Hunter-ing. <laughs> but there's not a lot of beacons to hold them in check, so it's kinda hard to tell when they're, like, oh, vulnerable what? or not. I don't know! It's ridiculous! I hate these things! Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Nope. Nope. It's like, if I am hitting them, I can't tell! It's, uh... Look, it's going right through them! <laughs> there's two of them! How are you supposed to know? Just luck of the draw? There's there's usually a trick. Oh, there we go. I saw it. Like, maybe I'm mistaking when they're actually vulnerable or, or, or not, but it's just... Well, die already! From the looks of it, they're just, like, lighting themselves on fire. Got some pyrokinetics. Like, I, uh, I want to think that when they yeah. got the th that white fire around them, they're invulnerable. And when they're like this, they're like that, too. But, but they're always like that. I mean... T what? I don't know! I hate these things! Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Uh, go us? Yeah, yay? Go team? I succeeded? Rah, rah, rah. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, computer time. Alright, we got some uh, echo vices over here as well. Uh, echo points. E e echo beacons? Thing that makes subsonic noise. Thing that dumb lock um door. Do you need the echo visor if you know where all this stuff is? Yes. Damn it. I may have already asked this, but it just seems like such a silly thing. An echo visor. Cool effect. Don't get me wrong. I think it's basically a way to replace the wave beam puzzles. You know, where they uh, t oh, turn off the power yeah. and you gotta use the thermal visor. I can see that. I like this better than that. So, this raises the lift. We gotta go down, though. Ah. Uh, okay, let's let's see this boss of yours. Let's see how interesting it is. Is it like a puzzle boss? Like we did with the... What, what well, was it? Well, I think... Uh, you, Spider Guardian? I'll let it speak for itself. Okay. So we are now inside of that tube mm -hmm. where the boss is. Alright, not bad. Got a spider track, and we eventually have to get all the way to the top, I assume. Yes. So, we hop on this track, that activates the boss. So oh. he's gonna try and knock us down to that floor there, which is electrified. Uh-huh. We're supposed to use the boost ball to jump from one end of the track to the other, oh. and in doing so, hitting these little pieces that he puts down. Oh. So we gotta line ourselves up and destroy them like that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. When you figure out uh, this is what you're supposed to do, this be this turns a rather annoying what the fuck do I do boss into, okay, Got here it. we go, we're yeah. in business. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's really cool. Uh-huh, yeah. Ah. Whoa! Yeah, he's doing the multi-arm. And then you smash the, the big innards. Alright, on to the next phase. Oh, that's so neat. The floor is still electrified, though, so it's expecting you to go up to this track right here. You know, now I'm And now it's cutting two. Oh. So you have less maneuverability. And you have to boost from one end to the other. Well, brilliant. I like this boss. This is kind of cool. I do too, this is fun, I like this. 
And you know, I was just Whee! browsing through YouTube, and whoa, 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 whoa. you got those stupid ass videos. It's just like all the bosses in so and so game, no hits or something like that. And they have a thumbnail that shows off all the bosses instead of keeping it secret. And there was one for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I didn't see this boss in the thumbnail. Of course, I saw the. Well, then it wasn't all bosses then. I saw the giant dragonfly thing, and I just, I just started smiling and laughing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it goes from a whale to a dragonfly. <laughs> what a stupid boss! And now it's cut in three. Yeah, all right. Whew. I thought you just, you just launched yourself off there. Okay, yeah, th this one isn't too bad. I like how, how well, like, forgiving it is. The spider ball is very friendly. Oh, definitely. I saw you basically. Miss the uh, miss the side there by a mile and still let you on. Uh, what? <laughs> Good dumb. You were not even on that track. Don't give me that. See, it's it's fun. I like this. I'm I'm enjoying myself. Well, also just the thought of being jettisoned across a room is really fun. I've, I've been doing okay with most of these bosses. There there've been a couple of uh, long in the tooth ones, but really the worst boss so far has just been the alpha blog. Everything else has been an absolute darling. Comparatively speaking. Yes. Be sure to mention that, because some of these bosses have been rough. It's rough because they take a long time, not because they're notoriously difficult. See, I don't like bosses that take a long time. It just brings the pace to a crawl. Especially if I get it. Yeah. Like, I get it, okay? Okay, just, just let me through, please. All right. And what did that do? Well, uh, well... <laughs> no! We're essentially opening up a shortcut ah. that'll loop us back around to uh, the main gyro chamber where we started the episode. Okay. So here's a little fun thing. What? Oh! A network. Hope you're paying attention to the background there. Yep, because it's pachinko time. Oh no. <laughs> right, so you drop down a level. How lucky do you feel, dude? And there's a way back up. And you got three openings here. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, check it out. Left, uh -huh. right, yeah. And then right all the way. That's it? Got it. Uh, oh, I didn't even see there was an expansion back there. I thought it was just a move forward. Nope. Well, cool. Easiest game of Pacheco ever. <laughs> Maybe if they make it for the PS5, they'll have like one that's in, you know, an entire building tall. Okay. It's like, okay, you want this you want this missile, this missile expansion? You go left, left, right, right, center, left, center, right, right, left, center, uh, right, I, I, right, center, oh, oh, third, no. right, second, left, center, left, left, right, center, uh, I, left, can, center, can you, can you bomb go back up here, the, right, oh, center, no. center, right, left, right, uh, down, and there you go. Uh, UDJ Senpai, can you please do, say that again? The, exactly how you said it? I sure can if I just hit copy here and <laughs> left, left, right, right. See, it's easy. Center, I can left, say anything. Center, right, right, and then you left, speed it up center, just right, a bit. Right, 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 Let's do it a little right, faster. Right, 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 right. It eventually becomes Star Fox speech. So these res bits are certainly a pain. Mm -hmm. And uh, typically, what you can do is you can do a charged dark beam and the missile. It takes care of them. But what I found is that when I use a charged dark Stop. beam, they they have this fun little thing where they just. Nope. Jerk to the right and dodge it entirely. You got juked by a glitch. So I found <laughs> that... So I found two super missiles is the most surefire way to get rid of these things. It may not it may be the cheapest or the fastest way to take care of them, but I'd prefer it. Hey, that little bit of homing that the super missiles have? That is... That's that. That's what makes it. That's all worth it. Very beneficial. So I find if you surprise him with a super missile, his his uh, pattern is always a, what the fuck is up with that, and he puts up his everything proof shield, where you can charge up and get your other super missile ready. So when he drops that, you can take him out with two shots. Sanctuary falls. That takes ten missiles to take out one resbit. Yes, but and by this point you should have like at least over a hundred. Yeah, you should, it, it it'll be fine. So our battle forces gathered in the Sanctuary Fortress to prepare for the inevitable seize the energy there, and then wave after wave of Ing assaulted the greatest of our fortresses with one goal in mind to seize the energy there. The Ing turned the machines of Sanctuary against our warriors, and soon all was lost. The energy of Sanctuary was taken by the Ing, so only one energy controller remained on Aether. Hmm. So they've taken over everything! Look, they, I... they completely, 100% lost this war, and we are single-handedly winning it back! 
It's because we're awesome. So through this white door is where we're going next, but we gotta go here first. This is how you activate most of the things in this room. This is a pretty, pretty interesting room, I'd say. Ooh, got some diagonals. Look at all that stuff back there in the background. <laughs> For one missile tank? Well, this is how we get from room to room in some places, too. Oh. That, uh, that's a cool shot. We are after something, though. Oh my god, this is so cool. Alright, here we go. Basically going through, like, a cyber city. So there is a trick to these. Ooh. These spinning spider rails will take you all the way over here, and they'll lead to a wall, which will knock you off, of course. Oh. Just to demonstrate that, you know, just kind of yeah, stall for time a little bit. Good demo, good demo. Yeah, I liked it. I really thought the boost that uh, drone boss would take a lot longer than it did, but... <laughs> hey, time flies when you're having fun, I suppose, right? right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I've lost hours lately just playing games that completely suck me in. I'm loving the games that have come out recently. Just time losers, all of them. And I mean that in the good way. Time sinks, I call them. There we go, that's a better way. Alright, so uh, you gotta set these bombs down, but you see that there's these little poles near the end. That's a place where you wanna drop your bomb, oh, and then you'll hook up to the next, th the next ramp. That's neat. Little visual trick for yeah. you. Yeah! This is a fork in the road. We're gonna go left first. And this one is a little finicky. This one doesn't work as well as the others do. It's really just not nice. Oh, damn it! Oh god! That was not nice. For some reason, out of all of, out of all of the uh, spider rings, I suppose, the spider track wheels, that one is the one that gives me the most problems. It just does not want to work for whatever reason. Hmm. I guess we could talk more about Metroid Prime Remastered. My god, it looks so good. <laughs> Have you noticed any, like, smaller changes? Because uh, you just recently played Metroid Prime 1, and now we have a comparison point. So you know when you scan in the logbook, it says in Metroid Prime 2, Record a dear logbook. Mm -hmm. Well, in the first Metroid Prime, it was just, Beep, 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 beep. Now it's, Record a dear logbook. Oh, that's nice. Does it give you the option to read it right then and there? Uh, it, it, it works just like Metroid Prime 1 did. Oh, okay. There's also narration options. Really? Apparently there was narration in the European and Japanese versions <gasps> that they've added to the remastered ones. Ooh! That's fun! This part isn't fun. No, but... no it isn't. I'm trying to position myself that I can help myself out a little- Okay, hang, hang on, come on! Is it because you're holding R a bit too- a bit too much? I, I just- I just don't think it's, it's- it's just not cooperating. It just gotta find the right angle! Ah. Like a little before, perhaps? Like, yeah, like right, right here? No. Nope. Not a, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> we can get this! There hey, we go! Hey, there we go. No, don't screw it up. And this one's perfect. Ding. Nice. Alright. Before you go forward, you don't go right, go forward here. Missile? Oh! <gasps> that is welcome! Hello. That is welcome! Thank you for the yes. beam expansion! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! That is lovely! Thank you so much! That was worth the... <laughs> that, 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 was, that was worth the hassle, i Worth a couple headaches, yeah. Alright. Oh, it just spits you out here. Nice. Now let's hook things back up. Oh! Let's, let's, op let's open up a shortcut here. How do that? Up on through this white door here. Aww. Come round here and... Uh, uh. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay. Hello, beautiful! And we haven't gotten really rewarded for that boss yet. Technically, no, yeah, no we haven't. So I guess that's a, a good one. Here's your reward! Have an E-Tank! Uh. Grapple points... Ah, to active positions. Opening up this long corridor, essentially. Oh my god, do we have to grapple between save points? Well, it's not that bad. It just takes us back to the main gyro. Thing. No, I, I like that. Oh. I like the grapple beam. <laughs> it's cool. You know, give me a grappling hook. Give me the grapple beam just swinging all around. Yes, that is cool. Yeah. That's a nice loop. Yeah, it's a really good loop. And that's about all we're going to do for today on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, because next time we got quite a lot to do. Okay. It's it's going to be a fun one. Everything's kind of building up. To, Are we going to be getting temple keys at Ooh. some point? Or? Eventually. Eventually. Okay, cool. 
Because it just seems like, okay, we got one. All right, let's not get the other ones for like it's, a it's million a, years. It's a lot of build up to get in these temple keys. I mean, I don't even know where the other two are. Do you? Don't look, I haven't seen them. Well, I mean, maybe we'll find one of them next time. I, I, I certainly hope so. We're also going to get something that I don't think you'd be expecting. Let's see if Niskodamus can predict what we're getting. Had a great track record so far. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it next time. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see. Thank you.